Hello everyone, this is Emery from Dongyu. Now let's take a look at our most popular and latest product, uh, which is called the Interconnect Whiteboard. Now let's have a look, have an overview of this device. We adopt a one-piece design onto this device, which means we integrate the home screen, the two sub-screens, the microphone, speaker, and, ca and, macro and camera into a whole unit. So now let's have a look at the top of, the, of this device. Uh, we have a, a camera of 30 million pixel, pixel and at the two sides of which uh, we have our speaker and microphone systems. At the left corner of this device, we have an, an aluminum oil cover, which effectively uh, prevents the erosion of dust, and behind which we have a storage box for teachers to place um, their hard drives and phones, which can avoid uh, unnecessary damage to both their hard drives and phones or the cables and the interfaces because of the lack of a fixed location. And in terms of the interfaces, we offer six front interfaces um, in total, including three USB 3.0 ports for teachers to connect their hard disks and or their own speakers, and an HDMI input port for teachers to directly connect their uh, laptops with the whiteboard, and we have a touch USB port for teachers to have uh, control over their laptops from the big screen. And finally, we have a Type-C port for teachers to connect their phone with the uh, whiteboard to charge their phone or simply to uh, transfer files. At the right corner of the device, we have six physical buttons in all, including um, power control, setting control, switch of uh, eye protection mode, and a screen recording control, and an adjustment control of image ratio, and two volume controls. Now let's have a look at the soft screens. At the corner of the two soft screens, we have two chalk spots for teachers to place wherever their pens or chalks. And at the bottom of the two soft screens, we offer you with uh, several shortcut keys to interact more easily and more user-friendly with the whiteboard. Alright, now I'm going to demonstrate the operations on this whiteboard. So as you can see, this is our home page that you see every time you power this device on. And at the two sides of the screen, we have tools, we have two side toolbars here. Also, we can do the same thing to call up the control center by drag or bottom up. And here we offer some quick access to the most frequently used applications. And if you click the More Apps icon, you can see all the applications that we have installed on this device. And here is the camera, uh, website. So here's a file, file manager to transfer or manage your files. And here we can change some settings here. Also, we can and cast the image on our laptops or our phone onto the screen by using screen share. And here we offer three ways to cast the image uh, of, on your phone or on your laptops. Um, here uh, we can use the PC uh, transmitter mirror. Also, we can use software. And for um, Android and Apple um, operating system users, uh, there are two ways. Uh, for iPhone users, uh, they can use uh, AirPlay and Android. Uh, they can simply uh, scan the QR code here. So uh, I am uh, I'm using an iPhone. So I only need to ensure that my phone and the whiteboard are under the same Wi-Fi network. So I click the screen mirroring or AirPlay and choose um, our device. And we can see uh, the image on my phone has been casted onto, uh, onto, the, onto the board.
And by expanding out its the cycle bar, we can return to the home page. And here is a simple whiteboard here. Also, here is a welcome application um, to set your um, wallpaper. You can advertise something you want, or you can um, expose everything you want on the um, big screen. And here is a quick calculator here, um, a calendar, and some uh, hardware detect for uh, techno technological support. And here is an instruction of the whole device here. Also, we can uh, clear the memory of the device to make sure that your uh, device runs very really quick, uh, runs really quickly, and it's not really uh, powerful. But for teachers, I would like to recommend them to switch to the open side of our device. <coughs> our device is integrated with a dual system of both Android 11 and uh, Windows operating system. So by expanding out the side wall bar here, we click the fourth icon and switch to the open side. So we can see the home page of our Windows system. And we offer you our own um, whiteboard software, which is called the ID Class. Uh, double click to open it, and you'll see a floating icon here. And we choose the first one to expand it to full screen display here, and we see our whiteboard. So now I'm going to demonstrate you the most important function of our whiteboard, uh, which is called the interconnection. In the home, between the home screen and the soft screens. So as you can see, the content that arrived on the soft screens can be simultaneously shown at the corresponding place on the whiteboard. So uh, I'm writing on the left side of the soft screen, so it will be shown at the left side of the whiteboard here. You can see it responds really seamlessly and immediately, um, so um, students see it anywhere in the classroom can have a full and clear view of what teachers have written on the sub screens. And we offer up to 10 pen tips uh, options for teachers to write, including the ink pen, soft pen, laser pen, etc. The color and the line width thickness of which can be customized according to teachers' demands. And for erasers, uh, we offer multiple ways to erase things on the uh, whiteboard. First, we can select a normal eraser of different shapes and different sizes to erase things here. Also, I can flatten my hand on the whiteboard to call up the eraser very quickly. Also, we can use the lateral tool to select uh, the part on the screen and click the trash bin icon to be able to remove it from the, uh, the from the screen. Also, we can uh, use the board eraser to erase things on the whiteboard. And if there are still too many things on the whiteboard, a simple swap enables you to clear all the content on the screen. Also, we offer multiple templates of shapes and patterns for teachers to draw very quickly. Color and the line weight, weight thickness of which can also be customized. And our device supports handwriting recognition.
So the content that I write on the whiteboard can be immediately and accurately recognized and turned into form of standard uh, forms. So if I click the more icon, we can see some gaps and tools for different subjects, uh, different for different teachers of different subjects to use. And also here are some general tools that all kinds of teachers may use. Also, if we click, if we click the long screen icon, we can split the screen into up to four parts. Our device supports up to 20 finger touch. So uh, if teachers call their students up to the whiteboard to write things on the different parts, they will not interview uh, each other. Also, we can recall the screen to make sure that every step you make and everything you write um, can be recorded step by step. And here is our mind map template for teachers to put their logic uh, into, uh, into a mind map to ensure that, um, that their students have a clear understanding of what they're thinking about. And at the right bottom side of the screen, we have some page icons. Despite the fact that uh, each single page is an input to Canvas, we can still add more pages here. And page up and page down. Let's see. When the class is over and teachers want to save their content on the whiteboard, they can click the menu icon to save the content um, in the forms they want. PDF, uh, PNG, uh, etc. Also, they can click the courseware icon to generate a QR code for teachers themselves or for students to use their phone to scan this QR code to transmit the image and content on the whiteboard into their phones. And for teachers who like to use their own PowerPoint slides, they can click the desktop icon to go back to the home page and open their own PowerPoint slides. And here we can still see the, uh, our whiteboard software icon, floating icon here. And if we click the pen icon, we can call up a pen and make annotations here. And here we can also flatten our hands to pull up the eraser. And if you click the box, the box icon, we can see some gaps here. Spring shapes, scissors, plot, spotlight, calculator, or spring recording can also be done here. And if we click again the first icon. We go back to our whiteboard. So these are the basic functions of our interconnected whiteboard. I hope you like it.